Okay, let's have a look at the functional group called ethers. And they're also known as alkoxy alkanes. Ethers all share the same group. They have an R, so a carbon chain, single bonded to an oxygen, single bonded to another carbon chain. So how do we go about naming this functional group? We look for the longest carbon chain that contains the O. So it's either going to be from this side or this side. Now with that longest carbon chain, this will provide the suffix. The other chain, so if it's this one here that's the longest one, the other chain is named with an alkoxy name. So let's look at an example. We have here a molecule that has off the oxygen one, two, three carbons, and we've got one at the other side that's got two carbons. So according to our rule, we choose the longest chain with the O connected to it. In this case, we've got three carbons, so it's going to be propane. The other chain we name with an alkoxy system. So in this case, we've got an ethane, so we make it ethoxy. So our full molecule will be called ethoxy propane. So how do we prepare ethers? In order to prepare an ether, we need to get two alkanol molecules or two alcohols. We put them in the presence of an acid catalyst and we provide the system with some heat to catalyse the reaction. And what we find is that we have two groups, or two alkanol groups. From one of those groups, we'll get a hydrogen, and from the other group, we'll get a hydroxy component. So the reaction will form water and between our two molecules, we will single bond to this particular oxygen. So we get the molecule at the right hand side, which is our ethoxypropane.